So I've had these rolls of Ilford Delta 3200 in my bag for ages, and I just don't really know what to do with them. Do I shoot them at night? Do I just take them along to a friend's house, just snap a couple and see how they turn out before I try anything with them? But I kind of wanted to wander around London and there was this gorgeous day turning up. And so I got on the phone to my mate Luke. I said, can we go and do a bit of a photo walk? And this is what we got. It is bright. We're here in Oxford Circus. I'm very excited. Luke's with me. Yet to shoot on this variable ND with film. 3200 is just too bright for a day like today. Oh, it feels really naked without this little hood. ND8 all the way up till 128. We're gonna wander around today, shoot some stuff around Soho, Bond Street. We might even go down to Waterloo, so. So here's that first one. It's all right. It was just one of those ones you just wanna fire off and just get that shutter moving and start building some momentum. <laughs> How are, you, uh, how are you finding that, wandering around? It's not it's, bad, I'm pretty used to it, to be honest. When you take photos, you don't tend to walk into things. Yeah. But if you're filming, I don't know why, I always walk into like a lamppost or something. Take this guy here. That'll do. That will do. Well, the beauty is, we'll never know. <laughs> Until you get it. Not, not for a while. And I kind of like that, not knowing. I mean, naturally, you do get to find out, but that whole feedback, I know we talked about it, I know loads of people talk about it, but that feedback of not having that instant gratification just sort of keeps you on your toes, keeps you excited, and definitely gives you the love of photography. It's good to see it. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's cracking. <laughs> yeah, let's go for that. Three, two, one. I like this next one of Paul but I do feel that Ilford 3200 is not a portraiture film stock. That could be quite controversial, but it's just too grainy and it's not sharp enough for me. Thank you so Take much, care. fella. And good if I see you. Steve, I'll tell you about Yeah, yeah, or Mars, either of them. It'll be good to see him. Well, Mars will be here soon. He's either there or there. Just snapping through a couple here. This woman's having a cigarette. Not great. It wasn't composed very well, bit of a rush. And then this guy working on the electricals, but again, just a bit of a passing shot. And so far, we're gathering momentum, but we haven't snapped anything good. I understand the idea of, you know, morning coffees and really indulging in it and enjoying yourself and making a process out of it. But I've never seen anyone hold a cup up to their face for as long as this woman did. Probably be out of focus. Sometimes you just gotta press it. You know, you know it's probably not gonna work, yeah. but you take the risk anyway. And sometimes they don't work, but that feedback that you get from the shutter on one of those film cameras, oh, it's completely different to digital and it's addictive and you just want more of it. So whether or not it comes off, sometimes it doesn't really matter. You just scratch the niche. I know you're technically approaching on their space, but trying to give them enough space that they feel comfortable. Ideally, you don't really want them to notice at all because then it's that candid moment. As soon as you bring that camera down from taking the photos, just trying to be, look friendly, seem harmless, if they ever ask, you know, you just say, oh, I'm really sorry, I, I was just a really nice image and I thought I'd take it, I hope you don't mind. And, you know, it's kind of like that class thing where people say it's easier to ask for forgiveness than it is permission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that a lot of people on the streets do end up having confrontations. If you didn't, you're probably doing it wrong. You learn to kind of deal with the risk a little bit and uh, go from there. I really like this little patch of light. Yeah. This snap, classic case of not having a great dynamic range. The latitude here between the highlights and the shadows is just all over the shop. And at least I know now, and I won't use it in that scenario again. I'm thinking maybe we start to loop round back to Soho. There's a, there's a couple of old lady about to come down. Let's go for that. Annoyingly, they didn't look at me, but not that I demand that. Need to lean back a touch. There we go, bang. Yeah. I think that could be a goodie. Wouldn't say it was a goodie. Because I think that's the first goodie we've got. It's funny I said it twice, because it's not really a goodie. I had this day the other day where nothing was going my way. Like the timings were all off. I'd like line up a nice shot and then someone would happen to completely ruin my frame just by chance. So hopefully we don't have that today. Another real nothing shot, this one. 
I guess I kind of like the geometry on the right of the lines, sort of the verticals and some of the shadows that are creeping across, but I'm not getting what I want from this film stock at the moment, or I'm not doing well enough to bring out the best of this film stock, should I say. Always carry a few spare of these, just to chuck the film in, pop a bit of tape over at the end. I only had a few to spare on the first roll, so I don't know really what I shot before. A nice use of quick cut editing here to make it look like I'm a bit of a pro at changing film, which I'm not. That's super easy. I like the diagonal. No, should we give it a go? Bosh. Bosh, bosh. I took it. First one of the reel. What's happening? I've been looking for you for I'm ages. Going, man. What's happening? You good? Yeah, how are you, mate? Yeah, I'm all right, man. You good? Yeah, good. What's happening? You all right, mate? Yeah, yeah that's I've got right. something. I've got something for you. Leave the other thing in there for oh, now. Oh, nice one. Oh, you're a star. So, <laughs> you look worse than me. <laughs> <laughs> look, I had hair then. Look, I've cut so all the hair off. In. Yeah, that's that was him back then. Yeah, oh, mate. Do try. I no, no, it right back. Yeah, yeah. I, had, I had nothing. I took it all off. <laughs> But I'll come and see you pre-Christmas. Yeah, man. Yeah? I'll be... So what you've just seen is my first photography book. And it focuses on portraits of those who are homeless and on the streets. And it mainly operates through London and through New York. And if you would like a copy for yourself, please head over to the website. 100% of the profits are donated to charity. It's been around three years of consistent photography, walking the streets, meeting people. I'm just so pleased it's finally here, and I really hope that the money can be used to, to do good. Listen, I love the camera, man. So yeah, it's, it's a bit smaller and neater than the other one. But no. And that's film. Yeah, it's shoots film. Man, you can't beat it, can no. you? No. Do you want to snap? Can I get a snap yeah. here? Two, one. Beautiful. Nice one. Mate, it's so good to see you. You're so so good, man. I'm really glad we bumped into each other. Yeah, again. I am as well. Obviously, it's not for me to tell, but if you're ever on Bond Street, look for him. He's called Lee, and I promise you, just you'll have such a humbling experience. It'll be, yeah, it's, it's wonderful, man. Right, onwards and upwards. Get one as well. Just had to wait till we turn round. I forgot when we, when you and I were chatting about this yesterday, like, oh, let's go around Soho, Oxford Street. Yeah, yeah we've picked December, like the busiest time of this place. <laughs> Some of these people that say I'm only going to shoot black and white, or, you know, for a year or five years or for a hundred rolls. Or, yeah, yeah. And it's like, oh, I just don't know if I can do that. I mean, my first ever, like, proper camera was the, like a Q2 monochrome. Yeah. And I never missed colour with it. I never missed it. With film stocks, it's just too interesting to try different things. So zone of focus, we're going to do one and a half metres away. I always panic because I'm like, I'm trying to focus, then they've looked at me and I'm like, now we're literally kind of having a stare off and I'm just aiming a camera at you for over three or four seconds. They're just thinking, what is going on here? And as we wandered up to Tottenham Court Road, I caught this one. These two women having a coffee. Before we then had a coffee of our own. Cheers. Happy Christmas. First stop. Which was incredibly hot and I burnt my tongue. And I could still feel it. I think there was a moment here with these two guys. And I like the vertical lines behind, but it's nothing to write home about. We'll see. I like this next one. It was a very quick little moment of this guy stood under this sign. And then I also really like this next one. The light is just amazing. The subject's not offering anything out of the ordinary, but I guess I like it because of that nice glow from the top left. Exposure was difficult there. She's got quite a nice 85 primer. It's still my uncle's one. It's probably the best portrait lens. Well, for Canon anyway. Soho Square is a really nice little spot in Soho, obviously. I'm in this sort of mode where I just seem to be underexposing everything. But when these came back from development, I was just pretty underwhelmed with the exposure and I just couldn't quite work it out because I was pretty certain I was overexposing everything. However, clearly wasn't the case. Right. Might be. That's got to be your catchphrase from now on, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. One of my favourite little hidden gems down here, four street photographers, is the chefs that come out of the back here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Down this street. Oh, I've got to get this one of these glasses on this woman in there. It's 
quite hard exposing through wind, through glass because you don't know if you're going to... The subject's quite dark but the reflection's very bright. You kind of want to find a, a, a middle ground where you can bring them both out. This next one could have been great. Had a wonderful composition, great action, but again, underexposed. Just during the mouthful. <laughs> Pure exposed. <laughs> Suddenly there's rolling through them now. Yeah. Maybe rolling through them, but you're not nailing them. Give them no warning. <laughs> <laughs> Ethics. I know it's not film, but I did have a nice little moment with, uh, with a couple on the streets. Uh, again, using the, the SL2 and that 28mm. Just using that bounce to push some light into the face and into the eyes. It's not some of my best work, but it was a really nice moment to, to be there with Luke as well and show him what that process looks like when you, when you approach people on the streets like that. And we had some really nice chats. These were really lovely people, and, um, and I hope to see them again. See you guys later. I forgot my coffee, it's too cold now. It's just been too hot, it's got like three cups, so it doesn't burn my fingers, but. Oh, we'll have a five, guys. Always looking for a good burger. So if you've got any good recommendations of burgers in London, give me a shout. These are a couple of quick ones on the way through Piccadilly. Nothing really to them. Just got to tick off a couple of rolls so I know what this film stock can really give me in the future. So why do you got those two cameras? What's the, why do you take the two of them? Well, they're both obviously so different. I use this primary, like preliminary. Primary? Preliminary? Do they both make sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. Many use this for yeah, street photography, you know, just capturing life a little bit more. This one here, the digital, the SL2 is honestly one of the nicest cameras I've ever held in my hands. I'm going to take you to get there. <laughs> Woo! I reckon... I reckon seven years. Seven? Yeah, I reckon seven years. Well, I, I reckon a decade for me. I also think my hair, my face grows quite quickly. Your face grows quite Yeah. <laughs> you, should, you should have seen it yesterday, it was not this big. Um, <laughs> but like, once it would get to a certain length, they'd be like, yeah, I'm just going to be stubborn now. <laughs> I feel that went boy. I feel that went all right. Sometimes you just need things to line up for you. It's irrelevant if you're yeah. any good or not. I don't feel like we had that today. The light was really good, but yeah, I felt in all, like seeing here now, yeah, yeah. I think it probably went all right. Like, by the point that everyone's watching this, yeah. you would have seen the images. So you'll say he's wrong. I think I'm quite intrigued to see what the one of the girls sitting having a coffee through the glass was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a couple in Chinatown that could be quite nice, like little snaps. I always quite like seeing how many out of the reel I like, like what was the hit rate, because that kind of determines, I think, your success as well. I don't know, we'll see. I'm not going to load in film in there, so I don't know what I'm going to shoot next. <laughs> that was Ilford Delta 3200. And what did I think of it? Not great. However, look, I'm sure it works for loads of people, and I'm sure it works in certain scenarios, so please do let me know where you've shot it and what the best environment is for this film store. Just trying to pick out a couple of my favorites, and by favorites, I mean better ones of the bunch. I like this one near the end of these women here because I love the conversation. I kind of like the woman on the left is staring at me. I just think it looks really timeless. I think it's exposed nicely. And yeah, it was just a bit more of one of those sort of walking past moments. As I said, this one could have been really nice, just underexposed, but I really like the action, the split frame down the middle, the symmetry, two separate lives leading exactly the same thing in that moment. I think, oh yeah, there could have been something there. I did in the video say it was a banger. It's not a banger, but it's better than the rest. And it's this one of this woman in the shop here. Light helps everything, especially with black and white. It's all about the light. Chase it, follow it, use it. And here, it's exactly what it's done for this photo. Without that light, it's a really nothing shot, but there is something about this image that I do quite like. The two portraits of Paul and Lee. I am used to shooting portraits on digital or medium format, and you get so much more back from that. These are nice sort of moments in time, little memories, but they're nothing more than that. So that was it, Ilford Delta 3200. Is there a place for this in my workflow? I'm yet to be convinced. 
but it was still great fun. Weather was amazing. Massive, massive thanks to Luke. Also, you can check out some of Luke's work in the description below. He shot some wicked stuff from fashion to music videos. And if you're a Sony shooter, he uses an FX6. And I don't know, if you're a nerd like me, I always find those sort of things quite interesting. We'll catch you in the next one.